This is exciting. We're going to be starting a brand new colony, obviously with no mods, uh, just the traditional RimWorld experience. And we'll have a bit of a setup here and get into things. We are going to be checking out the new anomaly uh, scenario. So there's going to be some, some new things we're going to check out. It is a difficult scenario, not recommended for new players. So with that said, we will probably uh, do some adjustments with everything else and we'll just kind of see how it goes. But the anomaly states your research expedition has finally arrived at the source of the anomalous signal, an ancient architect monolith on a distant planet. As you survey the structure from orbit, the scanner's audio feed forms garbled syllables, which repeat your own name over and over. Your crewmate screams as her flesh begins flowing and reforming. A blinding beam of energy reaches up from the planet and tears your research vessel apart. You've disturbed something ancient and inhuman. So we do get a research expedition uh, which is the, our, what our faction is. We're, we're not just like crash landers or survivors or like, you know, a, a rich wanderer who kind of whatever it is. Um, we start with a ghoul and two colonists. We get the security door started right away. We also get um, a battery. We have uh, an incident, which is a ghoul transport pod crash. And we also get all this great stuff and we get a holding platform right away. A bunch of uh, medicine and components, things like that. A couple of textbooks, a tome, uh, some basic weapons, uh, some, some turret packs, some bio ferrite and a bunch of wooden steel and plast steel. So we can kind of get started with like building a small base right away, getting some turrets up, getting the battery going, um, getting, getting power up and running so that we can immediately defend ourselves. We also have a bunch of steel and ship chunks scattered around. So honestly, with this much steel and the ship chunks and like the amount of food and medicine they give you, this could be an interesting, like you could almost start like on an like ice sheet or something. I'm, in, I'm interested to see, um, you know, what is possible with, with this start. So we might check that out, but we're gonna just hit go in a moment, um, I am just going to do a little self-promotion. Um, really, really minor self-promotion, I think. But we'll we'll see how it goes. And uh, we'll go from there. So we'll just call out to all those that are interested in watching. We'll go from there. One moment. Let's see, Let's see here. <coughs> Okay. And here we go. Um, I think we go blood and dust. Uh, we want sort of that middle ground. I don't want necessarily losing and it's fun. Um, we'll go reload anytime just in case there's any crashes or anything, but typically we'll just rely on the auto saves. We're not going to do anything too fancy with that. Um, we're going to use the seed bulko just because and we'll go over there um we'll leave all this here i don't think we need to add anything so we have um a civil outlander union rough pig union a gentle tribe and fierce neanderthal tribe savage impid tribe attacking pirates waster pirates the shattered empire um, mechanoid hive and insect gene line um 
This is uh, I mean, we're fine. We're fine with this. So let's just generate it up and see what we get. So this is our our world that we like to use. And I think for now, let's just see. Let's hit random site one time and we'll see what we get. In the desert. Uh, let's see. We have a growing period of 30 slash 60 days. So there's a little bit of a growing period, a little bit of forage ability. Animals can graze a little bit. Um, there's not, there's a little, yeah. Okay. Sandstone slate and granite. It is mountainous. We're sort of tucked away in the middle of the desert. I kind of like that for our start. We're just going to go with this initial random start. We did most recently on the YouTubes have a desert playthrough going, but because the expansion came out, I don't think we're going to finish that one. So might as well continue this. Um, temperature ranges are minus uh, five to 20. So it is a cooler desert. Um, it's not particularly warm. Um, I think that's OK. Oops, where do we have somewhere around here was was the one. Um, yeah, that's, we'll go from there. OK. Um, we're going to use. Uh, we could do an inactive ideology, which means um, we still have all that remains. I, 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 but I think there's opportunities. Uh, there's some new new fun stuff that we could be doing here. Um, human purists, no, we don't want any like purists. Uh, we don't want cannibals, criminal gang, martyrs. Um, okay. Pain is virtue is kind of interesting. Martyrs, uh, no, okay. Come void followers is, um, okay. Maybe we want to just hit this one. See what we get. This is this is new, so we're gonna. We're. I mean, it kind of makes sense. We were pulled down to this obelisk, and we are now worshippers of the obelisk, and we want to explore it and and uh, figure it out, right? Um, and you know, we 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 are gonna do that. Okay. Uh, as per usual, I'm gonna try to doing a bunch of. Rerolling. I'm going to kind of just pick my starting pawns based on this. So we have Chadwick the Ghoul, who is an undergrounder, who has ghoul regeneration and two uh, melee. Um, now, okay, I you don't become a ghoul in that slot or anything. I just this is the one ghoul that it gave me. Um, great. So we have a ghoul. Uh, I feel like that is very bad for melee combat. Um, I kind of want to reroll the ghoul a couple of times, though, just to kind of play around and see what we get. Like, what is the opportunity? Like, you know, um, general. Okay, you can get ones that have like. Okay, yeah, you can get ones that have like they can only do shooting in melee, but just like any other pawn, they're rolling all these numbers. Um, and it's just like the ghoul thing is happening in the background. Um, I mean, lazy, we don't really care. Too smart, we don't really care. Um, so we'll just randomize until uh, we get one that maybe like looks cool. Um, I, I mean, chemical interest, is that going to even matter for a ghoul? Um, and the cannibal, like, does, does that matter? Um, I mean, I like the fact that this ghoul is, uh, you know, very capable. Um, so this creature is experiencing impossibly fast regeneration. Um, they will hear nearly any wound in a short time. This person has been implanted with an architect shard, twisting them into a jittering murder machine. Its body is an amalgam of flesh and metal, while its mind cycles between half-conscious stupor and murderous intent. They cannot work. They only fight. Ghouls must eat raw meat. If they go hungry, they can turn hostile. Many find ghouls constant twitching to be disturbing, even when they aren't killing someone. So um, temperature ranges, they're way more comfortable. Um, containment strength goes up. 
They have double the max nutrition. So ghouls have the ability to eat a lot. They cannot feel pain and they cannot do anything. Uh, they have zero psychic sensitivity. So no, no Jedi mind tricks on ghouls. Very interesting. Okay. And meanwhile, um, our other colonists, we have an incapable of violent, incapable of social fast walker. Um, so this is Brett. Uh, Brett has a textbook and um, a daughter, apparently. Uh, we have some itchy, scratchy body bits because um, we are old. We're, you know, we're 50. We're an old man. Or you getting there anyways. Um, we have lots of plants, lots of animals. Crafting is a possible thing, but not great. Um, we have Green, uh, or Jup, or Jupiter, who's um, generally, I, I think, a bit of a generalist. Uh, this, the shooting kind of sucks. They are a psychopath, which, you know, uh, aligns with our uh, idol worship of this artifact here. So maybe we're going to ditch Brett. Although, I mean, it, Brett, it, it's kind of nice to have the specialists. Um, but in your initial colonists, having that incapable of violence maybe not the best so let's see what else we got a uh, pretty delicate night owl um interesting okay and we are painism um so we do have uh some fun fun things here so they are very efficient at void study um they research other things uh ooh, slowly very extremely slow um Every person ought to bear the ritual scars, many of them. So um, they they like scars. They don't care about comfort at all. They like pain. They prefer slab beds. They are welcome to rough living. They love uh, psychic rituals, um, and they don't they don't get bothered by extreme temperatures. Interesting. So I feel like the research bit is going to be going to be interesting here. Uh, we have a good researcher crafter uh, i think for now let's let's get rid of brett um and look at our overall bits and bobs so we'd be light on construction light on cooking with this particular crew is there anyone who's good at either of those i mean we have okay i mean we don't want a sickly body pierce that's just a recipe for disaster um and we, we're happy with all these scars uh, if we have this particular ideology. So we have Jupe and Olsen, and we will go from there. I think we're, we're pretty happy with this. And we also have Habiki the ghoul. Very nice. Uh, yeah, let's just let's give her a go. The ancient monolith unleash, unleashed an energy pulse that tore your research vessel apart and mutated your crew. Only a few of you made it to the escape pods. Despite the setback, your mission is far from over. If you can learn more about the monolith, perhaps you can find a way to shut it down. Or harness its inhuman power. And I think we all know what we're going to be doing. We're going to be harnessing. And we actually have a very cool little starting area. Ah, yes. I... I'm concerned about where we're going to grow food. Um, it seems that this is where we must grow, and this is where we must worship. Okay. We can easily wall off here, just build a good old wall, which means we can build a bit of a compound. Well, really, we could also, I mean, we have ancient dangers, which we care not to disturb um we can put a little wall or door here and means we have this entrance here and this entrance here we also have okay those are i was like what is going on with these blue creatures what is okay we have uh dromedaries we have lots of lots of animals we can deal with um we have another uh ancient danger there um very exciting very cool map lots going on I, I like I like this. There's another steel wall here that potentially hides dangerous secrets. Very, very cool. Okay. We have um, this structure, which is actually already made. 
That's kind of nice. We have this lovely enclosed area right next to the um, ancient Exo Strider. We could um, potentially get that uh, Mechanator going. This is really our, our primary growing area. This is this is it. We don't have a ton. Um, I mean, this is this is what we get for from being on the desert, right? Uh, so we get to figure it out. Um, what do we have? We have a turret, a turret pack. We have assassins insights on breeding and self improvement. So this is a standardized manual on breeding. The Precy focuses on the more skilled aspects of the subject. According to the front cover, a freak entanglement accident killed the author, k -Pak Assassin Rikesk, shortly after publication. A note says that a subscription of the booksellers of Barbaros produced the first edition of this reference book. This textbook has seen better days, but the pages are perfectly readable. So we can read this and it gives uh, some animals and crafting XP, which is pretty nice to have. Great. We also have some Glitter World Medicine, this holding platform. Um, we have a proximity detector, bunch of other goodies here. Another turret pack. Um, what is this book? Musings of Dusk Red. A standardized book on mathematics. So this would just give us some intellectual. Very, very neat. A pump shotgun and a knife. Um, I guess you. this is one thing. We don't really have great shooter. Okay, Habiki seems to be like perfectly capable of just wandering around. Um, I don't know. So needs uh, is just food. It, like you keep the food and we're fine. Okay, there's zero talking for Habiki. No sleep required. Just meat. Just feed the thing. Ghouls are humans twisted by birth. They can quickly regenerate, making them useful as melee fighters. They're incapable of work. They only eat corpses and raw meat. If they go hungry, they can turn hostile. Interesting. Twisted meat. Um. Okay, they. it's just real gross meat. Uh, nice. And we have fragments of Hector. So... In this well-written review, an archetypal spiritualist reveals his research into rituals, which was prompted by an incident where he lost his finger in an attack by a pain-seeking monster. In one section, the author attempts to commit suicide, but is found and saved by a kindly farmer. This book is pleasurable, if not all that useful. So, uh, mental break, break chance is 1.2% per hour, um, and void provocation is 0 0.3 per hour uh, when we've discovered the void. Okay, so this is, I don't fully understand. Is this like lowering mental break chance or will this like give us mental break because we're reading about like a crazy person? Um, okay, first thing is first, we need to look at, uh, okay, where we can ter uh, terrain. Um, and we can also look at here. So we do have a little pocket or two of regular soil. Unfortunately, I, we do have a we have a bunch down here as well. I'm trying to think. Uh, I mean, this we have the monolith here. Um, do we need like what's our proximity to the monolith requirements? Um, Trying to think like the closest air uh, really it's down here this is like the closest growing um and uh structures unfortunately can only be built like we cannot build all the way down so but we could use quite a bit of growing area here and sort of close off up top close off here um, open ourselves up to a decent amount of invasion, though. Um, this is a very interesting... I don't know if I particularly love this, this map, though. Um, we also could build up near the anima tree, which is not perfect. You could also look at 
Um, we have a steam geyser here. We have, and this is perhaps, I'm thinking this is perhaps our best bet. Um, it just means we need to be very cognizant of, uh, I mean, this is still 70% fertilization, the stony soil up here, but this is really, um, there's like, and half of this is not even fertile. Um, so, I mean, we could be, I mean, we could always be in a situation where we just build a bunch of hydroponic tables and stuff, but for the early game, we do need a nice growing zone. Um, we do want to have some crops that are a little more organized. And I think this is the way to do it for now. So, whoops. Well, let's, uh, let's delete this zone and let's expand this zone. And what we're going to do is we're going to do some rice. Um, and we're going to do some, uh, maybe it's like a small batch of corn. And then we're going to do we're going to do all sorts of different things. We will do that for now. And we're going to do maybe a little bit of cotton. Um, we'll do this as heel root even though it cannot be done yet. Um, and then we'll do something like, I, I don't even know. Uh, maybe some smoke leaf. Perfect. Okay. We'll have this for now. This is really where we're gonna rely on our food. We'll build a structure this way. And we have our monolith. I don't know how, how much we need to build like a, immediately adjacent to the monolith. Um, but in terms of our proximity to food and things, it's down there. So structures, we do have these security doors, um, ornate doors, very cool. Um, you can make steel doors. You can make this, you can make, um, obviously we always already had auto doors and these doors. Okay. Very cool. Uh, furniture we have. Uh, wall lamps now, which are very neat. Um, we also have bookcases, which are very cool. Uh, we can make some slab beds, which is very cool. Uh, and I think for now, we're going to just make a square. We're going to do the classic. Um, we're going to make a square, but then we're going to make it, we're going to do some interesting things with it, ideally. Okay. Um, I have some ideas. I have some ideas of how I want to design this base for now, but we'll we're going to use like some, some basic modular squares. Um, and we're going to sort, sort things out. So, this is going to be like a storage area immediately. So we're going to just going to have a big stockpile zone in here. Um, eventually this will be like a freezer where we'll take things in. This is going to be like our generic, um, like our everything room for now. It'll be like dining room slash bedroom to start. Eventually we'll have like a bedroom off to the side and this will be the dining room. Um, and we'll go from there. Uh, we're just gonna have like a real basic, survival piece. Um, I actually kind of want to do something a little different though. Um, I don't necessarily want to do, um, Hmm. I don't necessarily want to do like classic squares. I want to do something a little bit more, um, interesting. I think, uh, I want to make like a compound and I mean, we have like this as a bit of a, a zone. We also have this as a bit of a zone. I'm trying to think of like sight lines, um, but we're going to do detached buildings, which I know are not the best one, two, three, four, five. Um, right. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll do our 11 
by 11 squares. So we're going to have like two buildings for now that kind of face each other. Um, and we're going to use our turrets. We're going to get these like installed sort of down here for now. Um, and we will make a bit of a compound with them. Uh, I think we probably do we want to get like this holding platform into a room right away. Who knows? Maybe we'll for now, we'll just store everything. Um, we'll get these these fine folks dumping materials and and build in build in stuff. We have a lot of uh, a lot of wood. I maybe shouldn't even be building this out of wood because even though I do have a decent amount uh, that I get with the initial um, the initial bits and bobs, I, I get more steel, and steel is going to be perhaps an easier resource at least at the start because I have all these ship chunks and and it isn't it doesn't burn either so it has like a little bit more longevity I mean obviously I want to get some stone going sooner than later but in terms of just like getting everything down here we're just gonna focus on focus on that we do have lots of lots of steel going around <coughs> so we are beds bed requirements we'll get some slabs um just get a couple of couple of steel slabs for now um a little, little wall torch there um we don't have any an anomaly building stuff yet <coughs> but we do have power stuff um maybe we do want to make a wind wind power um as per usual i love i mean i don't it's it's in the desert so i don't necessarily need to worry about the classic things that you worry about um when it comes to uh let's haul those out of the way um and we're just gonna make a little dumping stockpile and make like a line of rocks how are we doing we're we're just enjoying things and we're okay we're just gonna grab some stuff yes we need beds um i really didn't need you to put a skeleton there um what where like why are we grabbing skeletons where did these skeletons come from this this is wild okay um we great we've moved some of the rocks the most important of the rocks and um, we're botching construction um, we're making doors. We almost have everything. Okay, we're, we're apparently we're missing wood. Did we use we used all the wood? Not great. Um, okay, let's just get some wood. And I think what we're actually going to do is we are going to cancel cancel the wood here. Let's actually just deconstruct the wood. Um, we'll make that out of steel and we'll have this one wooden structure for now. Beautiful. I think another priority maybe instead of heel root for now, um, actually let's just go a big old growing zone because we're going to need it eventually, uh, fiber corn. It's not the best, not the most efficient. But we need some. Luckily, we love the pain. We love the slab bed. Uh, we don't care about being uncomfortable or anything. This this particular set of colonists are going to be very like this ideology, at least seems like it might be pretty easy to maintain. Um, we do, though, need to feed. Uh, how good are you at? just murdering are you gonna get killed by the emu what if you just like get in there with your little claws oh you stunned them great the emu is revenging so you have okay you've done it um kill it kill the emu I wish you could, uh, okay, there we go. Speed it up. Perfect. Um, eat, eat it. 
Eat, eat the emu. Beautiful. Wow, you really ate it. Um, nice. And you are doing great. You will heal, I'm sure, um, in a in super supernatural way. Literally, in a supernatural way. Super supernatural healing. Um, absolutely fantastic. Still gathering all these bits and bobs. We really do need to get these packaged survival meals down here. I suppose the ghoul is going to be a nice way, like to, um, even though we've there's probably not a ton of meat left on there. Uh, it's a fairly low risk maneuver to just send the ghoul out to, um, you know, munch on, munch on the wildlife, as it were. Um, that seems like a good strategy. Now, I less do we want to do steel or do we want to just make a, a stone cutter's table and instead just start making uh, granite buildings? Uh, we, we suck at that. Okay. Try again. Get there. More steel. Oh, deploy turret. A wearable pack that. The, okay, the pack contains a propulsion device. Uh, the user launched turret a short distance. These turrets for flanking. And the turret's limited AI can't be directly controlled. Um, the turret battery lasts for several hours. Okay, so these are not like turrets that you just set up. These are like, okay. Um, how, what are our need? How do we feel about tables? Um, oh, we actually don't care about uh, eating without tables. Um, we don't need those those comforts. We are here for research. We eat on our feet, work on our feet, and live for the monolith. Beautiful. All right, let's also get some furniture. Uh, maybe we will make a small bookcase, put that next to the bed. Um, and then we can now make uh, granite, make um, sandstone, right? That's kind of what we have nearby. And we will do this until you have um, granite, let's say uh, 200 and some. Um, maybe only like 90 of these. And we'll make that a priority. Um, so we do have dark study and research capabilities over here. We do have arts and crafts. Um, I think we do want growing and cutting on everyone. Uh, we don't want anybody hunting and we don't definitely don't want you child caring. Everybody be patients and doctors and bed resting. Um, beautiful. Uh, basic is also super high priority. And I think that's great. Okay, you're just eating this uh, random meat. Good for you. Keeping yourself topped up. Um, fortunately, it's nice and cool outside. We can kind of get things going. Um, we maybe want to consider a slightly better stockpile zone. Let's go preferred. And this is going to be for uh, food. Um, let's just say food and for medicine. Um, and then we'll hopefully get this medicine proximity detector. Um, what does this even do? Okay. Uh, of detecting invisible creatures. Okay. We'll just put that in there. Um, interesting. We also need to get this, this going up pretty quick. Um, nice. Uh, oh, we have some sheep wool. Uh, we do want to get um, get that coming inside. Uh, prioritize hauling that, please. Prioritize hauling that. Um, oh, and we're losing meat. Not great. We have bioferrite. It's a metal-like substance. Okay. Um, okay. 
We just, we have it. I don't really know what it does, but we have it. Um, what does this holding platform do? Um, for dangerous entities. The corners have islets where strong chains can be attached down. Enemies can be captured and secured on a holding platform where they can be studied for anomaly knowledge. Uh, increase containment strength by building strong walls and doors and other specialized containment devices. Very cool. All right, we need to make our research facility. Here we go. Getting all the planting done. Um, lots of planting to organize here. The food. Uh, why don't you just finish eating this one as it's about to spoil? Go. Eat it. Consume! Visitor. Beautiful. You have things you want to trade. Um, Money. Wonder, let's see who is our best. Uh, Joop. Let us go talk to this person. Um. Oh, books worth are worth money. We have a uh, toxic environment resistance. Interesting. Or okay, you don't want to buy too much of our stuff. Um. All right, we're getting all this planted, which is fantastic. And then we will go from there. Let's have this lovely, these lovely doors that I've made. And now we are waiting on uh, materials and things. All right, we have a shard. Um, I think this is, is that like you just like stick that in someone and then they become a ghoul? Is that is that a thing? Goodbye. Hello. Good, good. Yes, we don't need you. Um, we do want our best constructor. Oh, you have zero construction. Our best constructor. Fallen. A wave of dread passes over. The fallen monolith, monolith has begun to stir. Slowly, it begins to twist and rearrange itself, morphing into something new. Within a matter of days, the process will be complete. Be prepared for whatever comes next. Okay. This is getting spicy. Um, I'm sure there's going to be some shenanigans happening here. We are still... Uh, we probably are, are in for death, but that's okay. This is, this is just, you know, our very first attempt. We are learning uh, monolith twisting in four days. Um, more visitors. Okay, great. You're reading. Um, they're too low. Uh, too, we don't, we don't have the ability to even build a turbine. Um, we do need then, uh, Olsen. Why don't you prioritize making blocks? Um, and let's just say zone, uh, let's just do it like this and we'll say, Clear all um, blocks. Whoops. Blocks. Stone blocks go right here. Then we will we'll do that. Structure. Um, we're going to get granite blocks. We're going to do this. This will also level up our construction. And we have a mad iguana. Um, it's right there. Get it. Dinner is on the way. Excellent. Uh, you are hungry. And so it is time for you to have snack time. We definitely need to get power going sooner rather than later. Because we need, we need it. We need the power so that we can house food, um, have fridge, keep meat on hand for our our ghoulie friend, so he doesn't go insane and uh, eat us. Uh, but he is satiated for another day. But he needs 
lots of meat, apparently. Um, let's go talk to this friend. What do you, what do you have to for us? Uh, jump packs, um, meals, which, mm, no, we don't have anything that we can care about for now. So you keep building. Uh, we do need that construction up so that we can get the turbine. We only need four, so we're almost there already. Um, yes. Eat without tables. We need no tables. We are uh, followers of painism. Therefore, we are just here to study the monolith. Um, goodbye, friends. Uh, that cracking is... Uh, inve choose who should do this. Um, investigate to learn more. Well, well done, friend. Um, keep keep working. Can I send you to investigate Olsen? Who? What are your yeah intellectual? Ooh, so good. Investigate. Just, you don't need sleep or food. Just investigate. What is happening? The monolith's dark metallic surface is warm to the touch, and Olsen thinks she, uh, she can hear a faint hum emanating from inside. The lines of its dusty surface seem to squirm in unsettling patterns. Olsen focuses on the shapes, trying to uncover their meaning. The hum strengthens, the shape begin to flow in Olsen's vision, but the surface isn't changing. Power begins to uncoil in the empty space all around. A black shape is forming in her mind. The anomaly stirring uh yeah you can walk away have a snack maybe go sleep and we will venture forth um our very sad barracks here beautiful just sleep be be sleepy good old jupe over here needs to get that construction on the way as well which this should hopefully provide enough experience to do that so we're going to continue to build some stone walls down here probably should have just skipped the uh wooden walls with our limited wood out here on the desert but we live and we learn except we don't because we always do that mistake a nice chunk of stone bricks ready to go hopefully olsen's gonna wake up and few short moments and continue brick making so that we can maintain our our fabrication here we also have um rice plants that are growing this will hopefully come into play to maintain our food stores we still have uh we have okay we have another 10 right there so that, yeah we're, we're okay um oh since it looks like you're here for a while jupe thinks you should give your faction a name what should your faction be called? Jupe also thinks that you should give the settlement a name. What should we name this? Any ideas? Um, Southern Ithistia. Um, amalgamation. Uh, this is the faction name. I don't know if we need like cardinal directions. Um, people's unification Ina <laughs> hmm coalition of Turder Lidos the Landos Alliance Community sound. I don't like that. Um. Hmm. Covenant. Horde. Veriron. Okay, I like that. We'll keep that. Um, your faction is now known as Veriron. This community is Community Sound. And we have hit our... Oh, no. We've botched. We cannot afford to waste that much steel. What are you doing, you silly goose? 
All right. We need to get the power rolling. Oh my goodness. Jupe, you are useless and you should feel bad. Spending all day trying to make a wind turbine. To the point where you just gave up. Okay, no, you didn't. Come on. Third time's lucky. A little disappointed. Hidden conduit. Um, we'll just do this. Okay. Hey, cracked. Hello. Thank you. I, you are appreciated. Uh, yes. Would you like to be a colonist? Which, which call would you like to be, uh, Jupe, Olsen, or Hibiki? Would you want to be one of our scientists or would you want to be our zombie, our ghoul? Okay, uh, the ghoul, excellent. Um, what, what, what do we want for the name? Do we want Crack? Do we want Kane? Do we want the whole thing? Also, I'm just realizing, uh, okay, Kane, perfect. Um, we need to eat because we are about to lose control of our, our friend. Um, murder the emu. The ostrich, I should say. You might actually get owned. Uh, you do regenerate though. Although the ostrich is a lot more dangerous. Okay, you ripped its tail off. But you are getting kind of owned. Okay, yeah, you're... It's going to bleed to death, and you don't bleed to death. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, eat, eat the whole thing. Just eat it raw, because, oh my goodness, you are... Yeah, if, if it's that cre creature, it will become... Mount yeah, okay, we know. Eat it. Ooh, like gross eating. Yay. Look at your needs. Oh my gosh. You just like mowed down on that poor, poor ostrich. Well, well eaten. Um, I feel like we need like a little reading nook. You can sit by the thing, sit by the scanner and read books. Right. Power on. Aha, we have power. Um, I guess our colonists don't really care about temperature, so we're not really worried about building anything in that regard. We do have this fun little bit. Um, we're going to keep this as like a wind turbine area. Oh, we have a raid from the trash crew. They're attacking immediately. One guy with a knife. Uh, well done. We have very minimal defenses, but we have some. Mostly our defenses are sending Kane in to punch or kite this guy while uh, Olsen uses a shotgun. Get him. Ah, once more. Shoot him. Shoot. Ah, yes. Um, you get to eat him now. Hooray. Uh, you're not super hungry yet, but like, that's fine. We do need to make a fridge. So we need some more hidden conduits down to here. <laughs> Enjoy the dungeons, Kane. And thank you for hanging out.
So we have this containment area. This is going to be, I guess, where we'll turn half of it into a fridge, half of it into um, like a dining room um, and kitchen area. Hey, welcome, bear. Uh, would you like to be one of our scientists? We have Jupe and Olsen. Um, so you can you can be uh, this one is is sort of our all rounder, pretty good at everything. Olsen is definitely like the crafter doctor person. Um, which which one would you like to be in? Which name would you like? Is there a preferred? Um, we also need to find a place to store the body. Crafty Doc. Okay. Um, we can do that. For now, I'll just write bear. Okay, excellent. Wonderful. And then uh, we need to... I should probably have not... Uh, I, I do want down here to be the fridge. Something like this for now. Close it off. Then I'm going to need to make a new storage area for all these bits and bobs. <clears throat> um, I need to actually make an an actual containment facility. That might be kind of dug into the mountain here or even just like open this up a little bit and just make this into a nice containment zone um, built into the mountain. I think that, that seems appropriate. Um, so maybe we will just kind of like smooth this out. Oh, thank you for following. That is that is super kind and super helpful. Need 11 more and then I can uh, get that um, subscribe button unlocked, I'm thinking. Oh, we have some cougars and OK, there was a transport pod crashed. Um, health. How are we looking? Uh, no immediate danger. Um, we need to make a sleeping spot. So we're going to toss a little sleeping spot. And uh, who's fastest? Um, I think technically Jupe has more moving. Um, rescue. Go. That is that is quite the trek. Um, I'm also I have no idea what's going to happen in apparently a day or two, uh, this is just going to explode and we're all going to die. Um, I think. Uh, we need a butcher spot. Um, so we're going to make some butchering spots. For now, we'll just throw one there. Um, I mean, we could probably actually just make the butchering table. Steal one. Uh, we need more steel, though. Um, let's delete that. There's still ungathered steel around. I mean, we can deconstruct the, the bit there. Um, so many things to do at the very beginning here. Um, all right, we've rescued Brendo. Uh, okay, you're just going to leave him there. Fix him up a little bit. There we go. Let's just not let that be used. And hopefully you will be fine. Um, the cougars will go away. These are going to go away soon as well. I think we might just do a butcher spot, if nothing else, just for the uh, the, the few animals we have right now, just to make sure they don't um, get wasted. Because we do have uh, a humanoid um, we can do as well. Uh, entity corpses, very fun. Now, 
We do have a psychopath. I think dupe is the psychopath. Yes. Um, also our best chef. So upon waking, dupe's priority will be to butcher. And we will get these these fine creatures um, butchered up. We're also going to get this containment unit installed. And we're going to make a nice steel door. Uh, maybe granite door, like a stone door there. Yeah, like that. Built into the mountain. Oh, nice. We have a very thankful uh, colonist. Very good crafter. Very strong melee combatant. Um, this is what we need. We, we actually need sort of like a dedicated crafter who's going to make us a ton of bricks. And so we're going to get that on the menu immediately. Uh, what are you doing trying to take care of children? Um, handling is fine. Uh, don't hunt. We don't have anybody who hunts because we just send the ghoul out. Um, speaking of, we're just going to reorganize that a little bit. You can stay on constructing. Um, and then your priority will be crafting. Uh, we also need to make you, um, well, we, we need to make, what, do you, what are your needs? You have definite needs that we are not able to fulfill. We need to convert you. Um, we might need to make a little prison and do some proper uh, re-edification um, because, yes, um, you're going to have so many mental breaks. Uh, because you have all this pain needs, whereas everybody else is like, oh boy, yay, pain. Um, yay, crappy beds. Uh, which is, make things makes things a lot easier. Um, all right, Jupe, why are we not, well, no, don't clean the kitchen. Can we not major break risk? Yes, of course. Uh, oh, sorry, that's why. Um, prioritize butchering there. <laughs> yes, um, you will. Uh, ghouls, ghouls are are fun. Um, that's kind of interesting. I mean, people are going to be sad about this meat as well. Uh, we butchered a human. Like, yeah, well, you know, this is because you are. Um, I mean, we need to make a prison. I think we're just going to make a prison, and we're going to convert our new person before they have a mental break. Um. Because, yes. Uh, yeah, we're already wandering in a daze. Excellent. They're like, oh, I'm so thankful I've been saved by these fanatical scientists obsessed with this monolith. They're friends with a zombie, and they just butchered a human. Oh, goodness. Um, and then they he instantly realized he made a grave mistake. Um, so we are just going to turn this containment room into a straight-up prison. Um... And you're going to arrest him immediately and just toss him in. First things first, you are going to be converted. Beautiful. Um, nice. Big old prison cell. Our... Okay, next things is going to be the cooler. We have tons of components. It is the steel that is wanting. We will, oh boy, this this is concerning. This cracking earth sort of graphic. Um, yeah, it's definitely, definitely a little concerning. Also, this particular map uh, has so many uh, ancient dangers. Oh, void monolith, oh boy. Um, as the monolith twisted and changed, Jupe was overcome with a horrifying vision. In an instant, she understood. The monolith is a doorway, just barely cracked open now. Something dark beyond imagination stirs on the other side, seeping into our reality. Terrified but excited, Jupe is convinced he can learn more if given the time to study the monolith. Building court category unlocked. Unlocked. Anomaly. Research tab unlocked. Anomaly. Entity Codex Unlocked. You can now study the monolith and other entities to gain anomaly research. Oh, ho, ho, look at this whole research tree. Very, very, and we don't even know. Like some of these are unknown. Super cool. Void Provocation. Build a psychic ritual spot and perform psychic rituals. Use the Void Provocation ritual to discover new entities. Seems spooky. 
Um, Psychophagy. Perform a psychic ritual which deadens a target's psychic sensitivity and temporarily boosts the ritual invoker's psychic. Okay, so you like steal psychic um, sensitivity, but it gives them brain damage as a side effect. The target will suffer. Uh, so if you like have prisoners, you can kind of like sacrifice their psyche to make like super psychic soldiers. Very neat. That is cool. Um, oh, we're discovering all sorts of harbinger trees. We'll consume corpses and meat placed nearby. Create corpse stock. That is so cool. Oh man, the music and everything. Oh, and look at this thing. The void monolith. Okay. Um, very cool. All right, there's so many things. Okay, Gray Pal, a blanket of gritty fog has descended on this area. The fog smells ancient. Somehow it stings the skin. The unnatural uh, grayness of it invokes a sense of dread. Um, a crisis of belief, wow. Uh, okay, that was great. Um, So we are all the way down to 28%. Perfect. Harbinger tree sprout. Okay. Um, these trees have... Okay. A, a gnarled tree that grows a flesh-like covering. These trees are capable of feeding on corpses and raw meat and will consume those placed. If well-fed, the grove will continue to grow. In a tribal myth, these trees are the emissaries of a mad, shapeless god who rule an endless black ocean. The myth ends after the staples god reaches up from the water and tears down the sky. Yeah, I mean, do we want to feed the trees? I feel like that's that's definitely, I mean, reading that, uh, for sure, for sure. All right, we need to completely reorganize this whole deal now. This is going to be for meals and medicine. Um, I guess like food in general, actually, and meds. Um, and then this is going to be uh, the opposite. Um, cool. We're not going to allow foods. We're not going to allow uh, medicine. Um, we're not going to allow corpses either. Yes. Uh, will they eat? Well, can you okay no, you can't eat those things um we're halfway on the food the human meat is gone yeah i'm assuming you've eaten the human meat in terms of wildlife um dromedaries and ostriches are kicking around but we do need to consider feeding you soon mr kane uh we do want to feed the trees unfortunately the desert does not have too many entities kicking around although i wonder if like these trees like if you chop these harbinger trees down would they like the resources they give you is this going to give you like meat like spooky meat um because that could be that could be a thing uh looks like we already have a nice pile of rice going um we have a butcher table and we need to make uh, i should actually reinstall that um put the butcher table here and we have butcher creatures forever and then we want to make um an electric stove here um have at least a little bit of separation between the butchering spot and the cooking spot could even just like close this off All right, uh, void monolith. Okay. We need batteries. Um, we need an, uh, okay, we need one of these. Um, unlock, okay, build a psychic ritual, bioferrite harvesting from captured entities. Okay, entity containment, um, build a holding plot. Okay, we already have one containment thing. Uh, let's, let's start researching psychic rituals. That seems fun. 
Um, we also really need to monitor the food. Okay. Uh, animal wildlife. Um, go hunting. Uh, let's take on a, a dromedary. We are going to attack. Oh, don't get killed by a dromedary. Oh, you died. That's not great. I actually thought that you would be strong enough to kill this. Well, that's probably for the best. <laughs> because if we weren't able to kill a dromedary, um, yeah, that's fine. We'll worry about the ghoul later, because he was about to turn on us and kill us, because we didn't have any food for him. We're, we were learning about the ghouls. I mean, we could also make a new ghoul. Um, okay, we need to, we do need to convert him sooner rather than later. How, how are we doing here? Bio, we are 28%. That's fine. Okay, we do no longer need to worry about our ghoulish friend. Uh, furniture, let's start getting... Some shelving in here. Oops. Build that. Build copy. And we will link all of these together. And we'll... Let's just delete this whole storage area. Delete this whole storage area. Um, and let's actually just make... A couple of shelves in here. Yeah, ghouls are supposed to be strong healers. Um, I guess I was expecting them to be a little bit more like the sanguifages where like they're kind of deathless and they go down and they just like get up and like keep going. Um, however, that does not appear to be the case. The, the, the body, where is the body? Where's Kane's body? Um, it's right here. Uh, okay. New research is available. All these things are happening. Um, oh, we're, I, I was not paused. I thought I was paused. Um, Oh boy, this is really bad. Uh, okay, we're paused now. Um, yeah, this body's here. Okay. We are going to run. Unfortunately. Oh, you are so fast. Just chuck it here. Okay, we're downed. This invisible entity. It's so fast. Holy smokes. Get inside. Oh. Uh, crap. Can I pick this up? What if I deconstruct it? Uh, it's going to take too long. Okay. Um, rescue bear. Okay, bear was crawling away. That was kind of cool. Um, this thing, I guess died pretty fast. Maybe I was supposed to just shoot it. Um, that was exciting. All right. Holy smokes. All right, we have the shotgun we got to pick up as well. So Jupe, you're going to prioritize hauling that. Um, who's our warden? Jupe is the warden, which is great. Um, and all these meals in here, just like leaving them all around. Um, are you not uh, able to interact? I, whatever. We will get there later. Um, we can even just kick up the priority a little bit. Um, right, you grab the dromedary, and yes, I did think that, um, the unnatural regeneration here, uh, they will heal, he they will heal nearly any wound in a short time. They heal a hundred health a day, but I suppose, um, you know, it lost a leg. Uh, it lost its whole torso. I think that's why it died. Um, but I, I was kind of just like, I'll oh, let them get knocked over and it'll get up again by itself. Um, but not, not really. Um, so proximity detector. Okay. We've, 
we have this proximity detector already. I guess we missed, or maybe we did catch the the entity, um, and that's why it aggroed us. Yeah, let's not go out at night. Nighttime is spooky. Uh, a twisted creature has appeared out of thin air. Um, you can capture entities. Okay, we do need this. So we could potentially have captured that entity and thrown it into this little containment area, which is neat. Um, containment strength is currently 104. Uh, and that's based on, I think, the room that it's in and the door that goes to that room. So I wonder, like, how difficult is it to reinstall? Yeah, he kicked the hole, like, yeah, the camel kicked a hole right through the ghoul. <laughs> um, right through the center. Um, I'm just going to, this is testing purposes. We had 104 in the mountain and we were at, okay, so the mountain was, was significantly better. Um, I wonder, let's just say, like, what happens if you just, like, tossed it in, um, like, a regular uh, stone building here? Um, what are we looking at? 94. Okay, so clearly uh, the mountain is, is a good strategy. We're down to 27% certainty. Um, we're just eating. No, no, no. I mean, I suppose we need power and we're, we are out of things um, and we haven't even, uh, let's just cook simple meals until you have like, yeah, 10, sure. Um, no, 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 we don't want, uh, we don't want any of that. Uh, manage food policies, lavish, um, raw, no, 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 no raw food, go hungry, you'll be fine. Um, the, the hunger is good for you. Yeah, double walls would probably be a good good thing for the containment. Um, and like this room has double walls. All right. Who is our chef? Dupe is the chef. Um, prioritize here. Yeah, make make some meals. Oh, um, drop them on the floor. We don't we don't have time. Yeah, let's maybe clean the kitchen um, and then cook. Yeah, great. It is nice and cool in here. Um, we do need to prioritize these and we'll link these ones together. Um, this will just be for food. Um, and that'll be our food shelves. Perfect. Fantastic. Talk to our friend here. Convince him, yes, 25%. Man, he is a little stubborn. Um, but we are going to get this food in here. I'm just going to continue eating without tables. Um, yeah, Rimworlds, like, they, the, the, these Rimworlders, like, they just are determined. They're like, the second they feel hungry, they will shove a whole human leg in their mouth. Um, they won't even think twice. And then they'll complain about it for weeks. Um, as if, like, they couldn't wait five minutes for, like, the rice to finish boiling. Ridiculous. We have a little bit more work here to do. Um, I think Jupe is also our primary constructor. Uh, yeah, Bear is not one to construct, but very good at the medical and the crafting. Um, so we have another crafter here, and and I think primarily our is going to be our anomaly expert um, because. Uh, once we get this friend on the right path, you know, eager to study the monolith, we will, I'm sure, be uh, using them for crafting. Come on, continue following 23. They're, they're regaining it faster, which I don't love. Um, this is a horrible t-shirt. I wish we could just throw it away. Um, but... I mean, we could throw it outside and it would deteriorate faster. We could maybe make like a stockpile zone for clear all. Um, is there like specifically, 
yeah, tainted apparel. Um, yeah. <laughs> yes, you should feel unsafe, Bear. You were mauled by a ghost. Um, I don't know. Can we, uh, like, can we butcher this? I, like, I suppose we could, right? Like, butcher entity corpse? Is that what's going to happen? What do we get? Let's butcher the ghost. Oh my goodness, we get some uh some grossness, twisted meat. <laughs> uh, okay, we yes, that I I see now. I was like, what what do you mean he's up to 99? But then no, that was the prisoner trying to convert us, uh which is hilarious. Um, misguided for sure uh, let's prioritize constructing this and then we need to do a little bit of like hauling and cleaning and, and... yes oh this is, these are sandstone I, okay I, I guess that's fair um, we can make more sandstone furniture uh, sandstone can be the furniture material um, well done, feeding, feeding our injured friend. Feed meat to the prisoner. We could. Um, I mean, I, I I think the meat is this like this is perfect ghoul food. Um, this this would have been exactly what we needed. I think if I had not sent our ghoul to die to that dromedary, they could have defended us from the ghost and then eaten the ghost. Um, but alas. That's not what happened. Okay, we have bear back back feeling fine. Um, so many things. Oh, we have a more. Uh, no, why is it rotting away? Oh, we had meat up here still, um, as, as opposed to I just didn't have this shelf built yet, so nobody was intent on hauling it to the proper place. Okay, uh, let's prioritize this. We also need to make a battery. Um, we'll do something like that for now. Tree meat. <laughs> We have a raid. They're attacking immediately. Did we ever figure out? I don't think, yeah, I don't think we got those turrets back. Um, we have one that's dead over here. I wonder. Okay, I just gave us some of that. Okay. Well, we'll be fine. Um, we have two colonists, and one of us has a gun. And this man has a club. Uh, we're just going to have to do the good old um, cardio method of combat. All right. Um, intense battles. Uh, oh, you don't have your shotgun. You've you've put it over here. Okay. Uh, run. Don't. Nope. Nope. Wrong one. There we go. Knife him in the back and then run away. He's he's a little little quick. Where did you get him? Oh, you got him in the neck. Oh, well done. Uh, bear, you got a nice bruise there. Um, that's okay. You like you like the injuries. Um, bear is locked and loaded. Very satisfying racking of the shotgun. Completely unnecessary, but satisfying. Okay, take the shot. Yes. All right. Tight. Take the shot, bear. Another shot. Let's not cross in front. What a shot. Okay. And we have a, another prisoner here. Beautiful. Um, no permanent damage as of yet. We're going to build a copy. Maybe just have a couple of these kicking around for old time's sake. Uh, who's our best? 
our best doctor. Um, but it, oh my goodness, we a, a greedy pyromaniac. This is they they're so good at shooting though. Uh, let's just capture and doctor immediately. I guess both our characters are kind of fancy pants doctor -y people. So um, let's just get Jupe there because you know Bear needs to go rest. Ad Victorium indeed. We are going to hopefully stabilize this. Okay, look at the, in the instant stabilization. Beautiful. Uh, this looks like a success. Now, um, we can do some like fun experiments. Surgical inspection. Oh, ooh, an invasive surgery to find hidden abnormalities. Wild. Uh, very cool. Remove tongue? No. Install denture? No. Um, I suppose, like, ghoulification um, is something we can eventually research, but not immediately. All right. What are your needs? Your needs? You're just going for a walk. You're satisfying your mental health. Going for a stupid walk. Take care of your stupid mental health. Um, and uh, then you'll be fine. I mean, we also have a smoke leaf joint we could use. How about you? Are you going to see the light? About 20%? Man, that is falling so slowly because you are so firm in your belief of not being an idol-worshipping psychopath. Um, but we have some mad scientists over here. And we really need you to join the Mad Science crew. Lots of food there. Um, more meat is rotting away because our uh, temperatures cannot be maintained. Because the wind does not always blow on the desert, but it's doing okay right now. So this will fall again. I think we can also just make a nice big old stockpile for now um, and have just put the food in here. Figure it out. And we do need bear to maybe temporarily um, focus on hauling stuff. We have a lot of stuff just kicking around. We have these books. People are just leaving books on the ground. Um, of course, the wind is just ripping all night now that the power demands are, you know, taken care of. As a prisoner, we... What do we want to do with this prisoner? I mean, we could also just, like, convert them. Sure, why not? I think that prisoner might become uh, a sort of the source for like some of these experiments though check out some of these new new things going on um gonna dump all this stuff yes beautiful uh let's actually um haul the glitter world medicine and then orbit it so it is available in a dire emergency when we need something incredibly fancy All right, we are also going for a walk. Um, ooh, fiber corn is going to be coming in soon. Get a bunch of wood for all our wood needs. We might need to do a mechanator sort of situation. Um, get that going here. Okay, we're, that certainty is falling nicely. Your certainty um, is not. It's 16%. It's getting there. We do need one more person uh, so capturing entities we know about um ghouls uh oh they're twisted by biofarite we do have biofarite um if pressurized under specific it becomes extremely fat. okay so it can become fuel um and i like is there any way to just like yeah you can't do anything with it um yet so research uh build a psychic ritual spot okay um 
Study unnatural entities to advance. Uh, okay. Interesting. Draw animals. Ooh, that's kind of neat. Craft void sculptures. That's very cool. Um, so main research. We, oh, we could be even be looking at like hydroponics. If we had hydroponics, we could move things closer to the obelisk. But I think this is fine for now. Like we're kind of building our main base, and we'll we'll kind of extend this way. Yeah, mechs for the win. I think I think mechs align with the flavor of our mad scientist colony as well. I think um, you know, useful robot servants makes makes sense. Uh we're getting food done. We still need more, more stuff. Um make make at least one more set of blocks. And then we can finish these shelves. Need more shelves in here. We can hold all our tasty, tasty food. Oh, what do we have here? A ghoul. Well, we need one of those. Um. Oh, designate containment. Aha. I wonder if um capture. I wonder if it's okay to have oh we have a we had a zzz, despite the fact that all our conduits are like oh uh, no no fire first. Thank you. Pretty sure we have like all underground conduits. Or maybe are these ones not the ones in the wall? These are just regular ones. Should I hmm. I wonder if I should deconstruct all these ones in the wall. Okay, that's a hidden one. That's a regular one. That's a hidden one. Okay. Yes. Hey, Rakt, how's it going? Would you like to be a colonist? Well, you can be, uh, you could join us as Jupe. Which is currently short for Jupiter. I'm um, like, we can rename you. Like, we can have this person be wrecked. We also have a, a, a group of like prisoners um, and this lovely ghoul that's trying to break free. Um, who I think we will also. I mean, we, I mean this is going to be Kane too. I think because Kane was one of our ghouls, and then. He died to uh, a camel. Um, that's the spot where his body used to be. Um, also, all the blood. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, the final straw was there's a monster in my bedroom. Excellent. Um, imprisoned with an entity. That's amazing. So, like, you can imprison people with entities, uh, but they don't like it. Oh, and we have a trash crew thing here. Uh, a raid. Um, beautiful. We also have a bunch of steel we could just grab. So we're going to get get the troops out. We're going to meet this. I think this is a new feature too. Like when you zoom out all the way, yeah, it's highlighting um, the ponds and the animals in different colors. I initially was like, why, why is this blue camel thing here? Um, but that's because it's a new feature. All right, we're going to meet them in the open. Uh, oh, you're so fast. Oh, nice headshot. Oh, another one. Oh, that was amazing. Um, beautiful. We're going to capture this wasty. We're going to send them. <laughs> a Mantiago, uh, Mantiado rather, the prisoner with the entity and just feed him to the ghoul. Yes, we'll just build him into the walls and, and give him to the ghoul. I should actually look at this entity. Okay, can I... 
uh, study, release, maintain. Okay, I can study the entity, release. Can I recruit the entity? Transfer the contained entity to another holding. Um, okay. Study in. Okay, this it will escape eventually. What happens if I release? Um, it might be hostile. Interesting. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't. I mean, this this is a very good entity because it's a Hussar. Uh, so this is like a genetically engineered genotype that has been turned into a ghoul. Um, I would really like to get this entity to be my friend, but I maybe this is a research thing eventually where I could um, look at like ghoul infusion, something, ghoul resurrection. Okay, so eventually I could resurrect ghouls eventually, but we just don't have that ability now. Um, all right, so yeah, we're going to... Um, there's also the entity containment. Um, we could eventually learn. So sleep suppressor. This will, uh, okay. Prevent fatigue. Proximity detector. We already have one of those electro harvester. Oh, you can draw electricity from certain entities. Oh, you can turn. The spooky monsters into batteries. That's so cool. Um, excellent. Okay, as a prisoner, let's see. You are a miner and you're depressed. Um, as a prisoner, I think we will also just work on converting you. Uh, we probably <laughs> need to figure out a different solution. What we might have to do is build a wall in here and make like a containment facility separate. Oh, the, the dead one, um, the dead ghoul, I think his corpse has been like desiccated. Uh, the, the camel or, or like the dromedary destroyed his torso in the, in the fight. So he decomposed very quickly. Um, this is actually Kane right here. Never mind. Uh, this is his corpse. <laughs> Um, he's just out here. He's out here chilling. Okay, we got food under control. Let's just haul those back into the kitchen there. Um, we're <laughs> poor, poor friends. Okay. Yeah, they're gonna go crazy with this rattling ghoul. like this is terrifying i would i would not want to be in uh whoops um can you rescue this guy no you can oh he's just gonna get there by himself okay that's why uh structure let's do this and we're gonna <laughs> i think we'll we'll do the door somewhere like here we'll let them not be completely <laughs> attached to the ghoul. Um, that that is horrifying. The little rattling of the chains is is something special here. This is great. Um, so yeah, I just have him in there now. He's just in this little containment facility. Um, okay, that was him. Uh, the visitors are here. Bear is in an awful barracks with a recreation unfulfilled. So Bear is getting a little, a little grumpy. Um, and we need, we we do need warm clothes apparently because it's gonna get cold. And our scientists are, um, yeah, we're we we are studying the ghoul friend. The ghoul friend is gonna be a source of, um source of knowledge, a source of research for us. I don't know. Um, I guess you could, yeah, you can prioritize like study, like what, like, what does this do? We're, we're getting a little tick up and I'm assuming if we go to research, 
Um, when that bar fills, yeah, we just got like a, a chunk. Okay, it even says how much we get every time. So we're actually getting quite a bit of research studying this ghoul. Um, but you do have to like have people actively do it. Um, that's pretty cool though. Skip abduction. Oh, skip abduction is insane. You just like summon prisoner. Holy smokes. There's some cool stuff you can do. Uh, these friends gifted us some plasteel. Thank you for leaving your plastic garbage in our, uh, in our colony. That's wonderful. Um, racked, we need you to deconstruct these power conduits then uh power we know hidden ones make make better ones um they're harder to make apparently and then make the battery then make this want our little battery room We also just need to get some of these colonists like in our colony. Um, oh, wonderful. Um, a little, a little fight there. Oh, we have, oh, they're like, oh, they're wasters, aren't they? So the, they're going to have like all sorts of fun addictions. Um, yeah, great. We do need to do some science abducting i think uh skip abduction sounds hilarious it's like teleporting someone from across the planet <laughs> in a coma <laughs> into your secret laboratory like what what is happening i thought this game like there's a whole new series of war crimes it's a whole new world out here um all right bio we're super low um yeah, we need to get you back back on the, the right path there. 13% to go. Um, beautiful. We're missing steel, man. We, we just keep failing at constructing important things and we've lost so much steel because of it. Um, all right, let's go, Racked. Deconstruct this. Oh, you're getting sleepy. That's okay. Knock this out and then how much steel do we have? Uh, wow, we need even we need yet yet more steel. Um, we have so many components though. Suppose the option, the closest steel to mine out is up here, which is like super close to where we landed and super close to the obelisk, but not very convenient for us. It was also just yeah, there's just steel kicking around. We just go grab that steel. Be done with it. Um, yeah, you're hungry, drowsy, your barracks sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know all those things. Um, <laughs> Berserker. Um, these guys are, <laughs> they are very terrified of their situation, which to be fair, I do not blame them. So when Bear awakes, uh, we're going to have a little snack. Um, and then can you... Yeah, you're feeding prisoners, which is great. You're gonna do the hauling bit. Perfect. Um, I think the next step would be to cook four simple meals until you have uh, 12. Um, let's do 11. Okay. Actually, do, whoops. Yeah, let's do 13. Get a few more. Um, Bracked. You're sleeping for a moment. Uh, your construction is zero, so not great. We do have just a bunch of junk. Um, so much research to do. Oh, this is going up. Oh, it's because we're reading the book. Ah, uh, yes. We're reading the, the spooky book. Right? Um, I don't know. 
storage contents. Yeah, fragments of Hector. That's the spooky one, right? Um, void provocation. Yeah. So it's the one that has a small chance of making us have a mental break instantly while reading, but it does give us some some spooky void knowledge. It's very Lovecraftian. Very cool. Um, yeah, you can't you can't do that. Okay, you're gonna continue getting the food, which is actually kind of needed. We can't completely neglect the food. Uh, we have a lot of mouths to feed in these prisoners. Um, do we have to feed the entity? Like, I suppose the entity is just contained. Um, okay. Neat. Okay, certainty's down a little bit more. And, and, and again? Oh, no. What are you doing? You're berserk. Okay. Uh, we're going to negotiate with a prisoner. Go. Go here. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. That's what I thought. Go punch that guy. Actually, don't punch that guy. He, that, he's a colonist. Yeah. Um, yeah. Go, go, go have nap time. It's nap time. Um, I think because our intention is to actually uh, yeah, we're we're just gonna do that. Um, I think yeah, we'll we'll worry about that later. Quest: A destitute nomad. A desperate refugee is approaching. Um, he begs so he can rest and regroup. Uh, yeah. You know what? We will take a desperate refugee. And we will make um, a crappy uh, a steel bed. No, we don't want to make a steel bed. What, the stone beds are not great either. But we'll we'll make one anyways. Um, do we put it in the barracks or do we like give him... Like a crappy battery room. Maybe better than nothing. Uh, what do you need? Need treatment for your bruise? I thought you enjoyed the pain. Um, build the battery. Beautiful. Oh, you're doing prisoner things already. What can you do? You can grow really well, which is great, and plant cut and mine. And you're good at childcare and wardening. Um, you actually have a lot of things we need. I'm gonna maybe not. Okay, you're just sleeping on the ground. Um, honestly, you can be a constructor as well. Why don't you just work on your own bed? Um, no more. Okay, our prisoners are insult spree. Okay, is it was that it? Was that like the whole spree and it's over? Um. Okay, fine. Yeah, why don't you just build build the wall? Build the containment wall. I think you were trying to build it, and then one of the prisoners started punching you. Um, okay. Now you're... Okay. You went on an insulting spree, and everybody's just really grumpy, which is a little bit acceptable. Okay, that's the door. That's going to take a minute. But then hopefully these prisoners will be significantly less grumpy, because they won't have to look at the ghoul. Um, I, I do really appreciate the ghoul in here. Okay, come, oh, come on, Racked. Like, what what could you possibly have to do that's better than finishing this wall? All right, you're already, oh, you need more materials. I see. Look at construction level six. 
You're pretty much a master. Yeah, that wall has really waited a long time. But now look at the needs here. Um, alcohol withdrawal. Okay, that's a bad example. He's just real grump. Um, so much better, right? Uh, yeah. These prisoners are real grumpy. They don't. They don't have a nice prison. To be fair, it's literally just a hole in the wall. Uh, so we'll go from there. Certainty is at seven or four. Yeah, four point one. So we're very close to getting this colonist back on track. Um, this colon or this one is we're kind of. I don't like this colonist. He's causing too much, or this prisoner rather. We have too many prisoners, really. Um, we need to. Oh, good! All this uh, wood is, is getting ready. We can start making some beautiful wooden furniture with it. Um, we do also maybe want someone who's actually going to clean things up around here. Get some of this blood off the ground. We we absolutely need more entity research happening. Um. <laughs> yeah, honestly, they probably are pretty lucky. Um, I I I probably would have like sacrificed them or executed them or something if I had a proper sacrificey ritual fight chamber or whatever built up, um, or a ghoul that needed food, but. Uh, I don't, from what I can tell, the entity in the containment chamber is like completely fine. Like it doesn't need to, it doesn't need anything. It can just be contained. Um, oh, he's Mount. What is, why? Oh, there's no food. Uh, not a sign. Okay. Um, prioritize cooking. Do nothing for an ounce. Uh, okay, yes. Cook, cook, cook. All right. Um, yes, eat, eat, Zach. Because you are getting very grumpy. I'm a disliked xenotype. Oh, no. Eight non-fungus plant. Everybody's ideologies are just, like, so much more complicated than ours. Um, what are your needs? Sunlight sensitivity, then why be outside? Just go outside. Be chill. Be chill. Um, I guess what we could do is do something like that and then go zone. Um, manage areas. New area. Rename this zone to sunlight. Yes, we didn't we do need to feed the trees, actually. You're very right. Um, expand sunlight and then just say that you few weirdos um, that don't like the sun which is for sure you because you're a dirt mole um, bear I think also is a night owl maybe yeah I, I'm really messing that up because um, bear should be sleeping Something like that. I always I should actually look up Night Owl. Uh, yeah, eleven to um, eleven to eighteen when we want to be sleeping. Okay. Uh, and I wonder should, should I feed the trees? I guess feeding the trees. Okay, smoke leaf binging. Great. Um. There's corpse stockpiles there. Let's clear corpses from here. So that means like whenever there's corpses lying around, um, let's just do human, uh, not colonist corpses, but other corpses. We won't feed colonists. Um, nice. Uh, oh, Wasty has been converted. Um, prisoner, bio, depressive, uh, depressive waster is not exactly, I mean, let's just release this one now. Um, we don't need to keep too many prisoners that we plan on, you know, 
performing strange rituals on. We'll, we'll get, there'll be more. We want this one to be, uh, 1%. 39%. Um, we could also replace all these walls eventually. Look at those, the cool doors. I like those. All right, Zach is on the world's most embarrassing binge. Um, on a smoke leaf binge with our single smoke leaf, leaf joint. Very excellent. Oh yeah, the ghosts. I've, I've already forgotten about the ghosts. Bulk goods trader, okay. Yeah, we could potentially trade some goods. Um, we don't have too much to offer, but you know, we have a few awful melee weapons and things. Um, oh, nice. We're grabbing all this steel. Fantastic. Nice. Um, okay, converted everyone. That means for a prisoner, we are going to release you. Uh, prioritize releasing. Yay, welcome back, friend. Uh, let's make a really crappy slab bed for you. Uh, oh, can we, we can make a bioferrite slab bed. I wonder. Um, the light flickered. <laughs> More ghosts, no. Um, I wonder if we could. Bioferrite, that, I wonder if that would like do anything weird. Um, seems kind of fun though. Uh, what was your bio again? You suck at social. You're okay at social. You're bad. You're on a daze. Um, all right. You are the one that gets to trade. Ah, we could get um, some pigs. We don't have a lot of money, apparently, with this particular start. Uh, we can start selling things. Um, what's the... We started with sheep's wool. I wonder what the intent of that initial sheep's wool is. Um... Oh, we can also get mastery in food. Okay, that's a plants XP book. Another plant XP. Okay, do they have the same max level eight? Uh, max level eight. Okay, so so far, recreation gain. Okay, it's a it's a good book. Okay, uh, this is my book. Um, this is also my book. IEDs. Okay, very cool. Yeah, we probably want a better hospital for evil experiments. Um, we need... What did I... Oh, I just sold a bunch of stuff. Um, we need a... We need absolutely need a better hospital slash containment facility. Um, I think we could even look at building some sort of... room slash hospital here um a little little door there or something um and we'll kind of like expand it out in here we'll mine that out i think we also need you to just research bear like get in there and start learning about this ghoul Got a little, get a little stuff going on. Um, void provocation, we did it. Um, void sculptures, we need that. Uh, disruptor flares. Oh, that's invisible creatures. Electro harvester is the thing. Um, advanced psychic ritual. Okay, so the psychic rituals are just cool. Uh, hmm. Oh, this, okay. That's scary. Um, Bioferrite harvesting. Okay, this is going to give us bioferrite from the the ghoul. Um, and it potentially opens up something new. So we'll go from there. I also wonder... Uh, okay, wardens will study this. Okay, neat. A tune... 
Oh. Four or more basic monolith entities. Oh, you're just sleeping on the ground. That's not what we want. Um, suppose we also would like to get some art happening. Uh, we need a better defense. Um, we also need more and better, uh, just more and better buildings in general. We'll leave the, the hot air to go out here. <laughs> poke, poke the ghoul. Um, I think that would be, that's going to be enough space to contain one, two, three, four. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Oh, nice. Our cotton's coming in. Maybe get something happening there. We have another gift. Components, four components. That is, that is quite the gift. Um, I almost want to rebuild the, the base here, like the initial structure. Um, we are ripping through a lot of our granite right now. So maybe once this little structure is complete, we'll turn this into, um, we might just like make like a pair of beds in here and we'll make that into a bit of a hospital. Um, we're going to probably starve over the winter. So we're actually going to get rid of this guy. Um, and for now, we'll get rid of that. This gives us like a second layer for this as well. So we still have 104. So I guess like the double wall didn't really matter for the ghoul. Um, which is good to know, but like being under a mountain maybe matters. Um, we have some slate we can work with. Um, Zach is sort of in his own bit. Ship to the stars, we're not gonna worry about. People are starving. Rack needs to make breakfast. Um, and we also need to have growing be numero uno uh, for Zach. Um, and then also, honestly, we need to have growing be a bit of a priority for bear as well. Um, all right, so we have we have food. Uh, we also have a lot of animals, and I think we're just gonna do some hunting in a moment. Um, our sh thing is, our shooting kind of sucks. Yeah, nobody's really good at shooting. I mean, bear bear's getting there. Um, we're gonna do some some teamwork. This is a great way to train. I don't want to mess with an ostrich. Iguanas I can I can handle if they if they go a little wild. Um, in fact, we're just gonna ignore having the backup. Okay, we're getting oh look at yeah, three already. Bam. Um, we're pretty much pros now. Are you eating my? Uh, or I think, is this also, oh no, we, we, we did say, um, oh, wait, look at that. The trees are eating the, the body. That's really cool. Um, kibble. Um, we need to butcher. I was just wondering if I, I had accidentally sent the corpses to the trees or somewhere silly. They don't really have a dumping ground for, um, for animals right now. Uh, let's clear this and animal corpses. Perfect. We are getting a little, a little sketchy on the food. We have, we have some, 
some food available, but it's not not a lot. And we have suddenly more mouths to feed. All right, how are we doing? We're eating all the food instantly. Rack's cooking is not great either. Who is anybody else better? No, nobody else is better. Um, we do have some. It's cold too, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's getting kind of cold outside, which is not ideal because I don't think we're gonna get too much more uh, opportun too many more opportunities to grow um we need we really well i actually we have an option we could research draw animals and then in the winter when we're starving we're just going to get animals to come to us which is amazing so now we need to make like a spooky ritual room um which is which is fun I don't know exactly where Spooky Ritual Room is going to be, but uh, we'll, we'll make one. So, so many animals. Um, didn't even get hit. Okay, it's mad. Oh, what a shot. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Meleeed to death. And now you can prioritize butchering it. Yeah, spooky rituals. Um, so we have anomaly things. Okay, we make a holding Oh, we can make a holding spot. That's, that's scary. Um, a psychic ritual spot can only be cast if the area around the spot is unobstructed. So we need like a... I mean, this isn't a sufficient room. This is going to be the, the spooky ritual spot for now. We also need better power. Our power sucks. Which is kind of interesting considering I feel like we we really don't have much attached. We have a stove, a cooler. I guess we have this thing, this proximity bit. Um, I feel like we should really, I guess, and we also have a wall lamp. And realistically, I don't even think we, I guess we need like a reading lamp in here, but I was going to say we, we probably want this like in the kitchen, um, where people are actually working and they, we don't care if they're sleeping in the dark. All right. We're just working away. Beautiful. We have this little hospital done. Knock some beds out. These are going to be medical beds. Constructing that one. Beautiful. Also a medical bed. Wood, wooden normal beds. Knocking out more construction here. Um, we have zone. Let's do orders rather. Planning. So I want to make eventually I'm going to wall this this in just to keep that power sort of safe. Um, okay. Psychically can tracking an entity. Okay. I don't, I don't want to provoke the void right now. That seems dangerous. We, we don't even really have defenses. 
we are we are very weak um i was thinking of kind of just setting up along this I, I mean like i could build like a little try hold thing here and that would potentially defend us from everywhere um Ares rescue uh 25 year old shaman oh we have well okay we're not we're not sending anybody on any rescue missions they're calling us suck everything is an uphill struggle partly because of the way i play and like i didn't re-roll my colonists too much or anything like that i kind of just like play with what you get and make it work that's fun um Okay, bear, we need to figure this out. Uh, oh, a shambler approaches. A shambling, rotting corpse is approaching. Some inhuman force has reanimated this lifeless body and set it to murder. It will now wander through the area. If it sees a human, it will attack. If not, it will leave in a few days. You can capture it. If you can capture it, you can study it for anomaly knowledge. Um, so this is... Is this... This is this is is this different than a ghoul? It looks like it's different than a ghoul. Um, how fast is it? It's moving is seventy percent. New research: Your discovery of the shambler Tony has yielded new insights. You can research draw shamblers. Um, okay. Oh, there's lots of things to to get here. So research, where, where was that? Draw Shamblers is here. Okay. Chronophagy. Ooh, you can cause the target to age rapidly while the evoker, invoker gets younger. That is neat. So you can de-age your colonists. Man, there's some real cool dark magic sort of stuff happening here. Um, all right. Where where did the Shambler? Okay, the Shambler is literally just chilling. Let's uh, battle him with a shotgun. Okay, he doesn't bleed. We do need another holding pad. Um, let's see, you wanna... Yeah, come get me. Okay, perfect. Uh, is he? Is he? Okay, he's dead. Unfortunately. Um, I don't know. Is there any uh, entity research to be gained from butchering an anomaly? Uh, butcher creature. I guess this is the one we said entities. So we also butcher them forever. All right. Well, we've dealt with this stinky corpse, man. Um, food is oh oh we're gonna we're gonna just put him over there. Yes, we're gonna feed the trees. Oh, we can chop wood. I am curious as to what happens if you chop one of these down. Harvest yield wood. Okay. Maybe maybe that's fine. We'll we'll leave that. Um apparently the the sun is just not shining on us. Um Bear sleeping. Our shotgun friend. Okay, everybody's going to be getting hungry soon. We really need to get some meat. <laughs> the trees, the trees. Okay. Oh, a group of travelers are just passing. Okay, they're not traders, though. They don't have delicious food for us. 
Um, which is slightly unfortunate. Oh, we do have a couple meals, at least, kicking around. And we have this... Oh, okay, never mind. That failed. I was going to say we have our ritual room. It's pretty well done. Uh, racked. Um, little, little sad wander. Um, we do need... We do need this. Okay, we shot the leg. The leg is a good good place to shoot. Okay, don't don't die though. Oh, no, I clicked off screen. Travelers are the food. Kind of. Oh. Come on, Agro, Agro Zach. He's so tasty. Okay, perfect. Now you run. Ow. Okay, that was real fast. Okay, now save. Save our friend who's lost a foot almost to a single bite. I mean, he's not a real colonist, so. Yeah, I guess you want to get some medicine. We should probably put like a little shelf in here with our... Old medicine stockpiles. Losing toes again. Man, that's a recurring theme. Oh, he's frail. Okay. Okay, I get it. Um. Oh, unfortunately, you are the one who cooks everything, Racked. Oh, no. Okay. Well... We have lots of smoke leaf, at least, so that's a thing. Rack is no longer being sad. Um, well, you're so sleepy, though. I really need you to uh, butcher this ostrich. Hey, you stinking iguana eating my horn. Unfortunately, Racked, I think it is time you're just going to wake up early today and you're going to just do a little, little light butchering and then we're going to get the uh, cooking going here. Why is this wall? There we go. It just wasn't connected for whatever reason. Decided it didn't need that. Yeah, I know. We're all starving. Come on, eat, eat up, everyone. Oh, we're now having a tantrum because we're we're hungry. Oh, because she was in the daytime. Sure. I know we're all a little on edge. Yeah, we'll 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 fix the hospital up. We'll we'll put some put some meds in the corner here. We'll maybe even put these up against the wall. You can even uh Oh look at these wall torches. That's cool. Make a real like dungeon looking looking thing. Recreation deprived. Um absolutely deprived. All right, well, we got to 
build that next. We have a few more wild animals we can serve up, I suppose. Also, this corn should be like ready to go any moment. Um, that will be a decent little kick up, but uh, we definitely need to. I mean, we really just need like a second colonist with a gun that can go do some hunting. Really unfortunate that we only have one colonist capable of shooting. And the turret packs that you start off with um, in the anomaly start here, uh, that was, I didn't really understand how they worked. And I, I understand now um, that they are these kind of fun little um, one time use things. I thought they were going to be more like actual turrets that you would just like set up. A group of poor travelers, um, they are begging for three medicine. Okay. We can, yeah, I mean, yeah, we're, we have some medicine. We could probably afford to do that. Yeah. Art, art is on the menu eventually. I think this was initially going to be like a workshop. Um, but, uh, I think that, I mean, like this is actually like a workshop. So let's just do a little art bench. Um, We'll have like, this is like the workshop corner. Oh, it's a bad temper. It's oh, they're going to be complaining now because it's, it's too chilly. Um, in terms of furniture, we could also put a little lamp here. And I guess we could be fancy and get, um, a granite shelf right here and this is just for stone blocks and that'll hold all our blocks and then we could also do um storage blocks and we don't allow blocks here and then that'll be nice add bill make a terror sculpture that's fun. Oh yeah, it's this this for slaves. Um, make a small sculpture until you have uh, one. We'll do the classic stockpile zone. This zone we're gonna name art, and we're gonna take details. Take uh, clear all sculpt. Uh, small sculptures. We're going to do details take to best stockpile, I guess. Um, look, oh, that's what I wanted. Take to art, look in art, take to art. And then, yeah, we'll always have one here. The classic. We also need to get some sort of like clothes making down um this uh, we don't we don't have a table at all um not that we like need one with our ideology uh but what's a big one um this is the guy i was looking for make like a little i don't know where the best I mean, like right in the middle of the room here Throw a couple tables, a couple chairs down. Little little eat at island in the middle of our kitchen here. Beautiful. Um, we do need. Oh, we have stuff to trade. Uh, oh yeah, give the medicine. Sure. Be happy. Go away. And everybody's getting hungry. All right. All right. Where did we shoot you? Right lung is destroyed. This is probably risky biscuits. Oh, yep. Yeah. Super risky. Yep. Yeah. 
Run away. I meant to use Zack again. Racked, I need you. Stab it. Oh, you punched it out. Excellent. Um, go to the hospital. Melee attack it to death. Beautiful. Um, I suppose in these shells, we actually don't want any medicine. Uh, we can leave the Glitter World stuff there. Um, prior bear is not the one. You're the one. Get in there. Um, we do want bear. You're hungry. Bear, you can eat. You are also, oh, insane ramblings. Great. Untethered from reality. Super fun. I should have read the rest of what that said. Has become completely untethered from reality, ranting about impossible subjects. He will snap out of it in a few hours. Um, final straw, I am a dislike xenotype. Okay. Um, we, I mean, nobody else cares. I, I guess like you, your own I weird ideology makes you a dislike xenotype. Um, we could probably just solve that. Uh, by, you know, I, I don't know how, but we could. Um, there's no animals to butcher. How close are we to, okay, these are ready to go. Um, orders, harvest, uh, bear. Your, mm, your plants is not, I mean, actually we kind of want you to do it. Bear, let's actually get you in the middle of the night doing this. Yeah, there we go. This will be some nice food. That's a couple days worth. Uh, let's just make, at least make breakfast so that we can eat in the morning. Get everybody in there. Okay. Um, we'll make one more, I guess. We'll have a bonus. A little bonus meal happening. Oh, bulk goods trader. That's actually huge. Uh, you can, you can stop. Nice. Um, hopefully we can just get more food that'll last through the winter. We need to also think about potentially converting this into a... Uh, actual, like, inside farm for the winter. Um, oh, we got an infection. Not ideal. Man, Zach is, Zach is not going to join us. Um, you're eating raw food. Why, who's letting you eat raw food? Uh, health, minor infection. Okay, the immunity is climbing currently at a significantly faster rate. Our hospital is not super duper clean. Um, but we'll get it in there. Okay. Good enough. We have Zach is the one who's working on this. Um, bio social is good enough. Get in there, racked. Um, we want to sell you leather and we'll sell this wool. And we're going to buy the pemmican maybe yeah sure uh anything else that you would care to part with i guess um goose turkey i get uh maybe instead of buying pemmican do we want to like buy a couple turkeys i mean we have to feed the turkeys but they become a source of food eventually um you could like sell the twisted meat I think we maybe, um, how much? Like 200, no, that's too much, 100. Sure, we'll do 100, 100 pemmican.
All right, we have a little social spot now. Um, man, Zach is really, oh, you have a chemical want as well. Not, not ideal. Not a great colonist. Okay, we need to get this under control. All right. Um, did you? Just, you're not eating my pemmican, no. Like, let's get my pemmican inside. Um, I guess for power, uh, w the wood generator. Not the best. Um, it's not really what we want. Considering wood is going to be such a pain to maintain. Um, but this single wind turbine. I suppose we could do another one right here. Kind of awkward though. Um, I don't love actually where I placed this initial one. I just thought, at least for now, it'd be good enough until I could get more. But really, I should have known that I need at least two wind turbines. Um, I can get a, if I get solar panels, but I don't even have a basic research bench yet because um, we're just that far behind. Um, uh, I think we need like an actual laboratory. Yeah, no problem, Bear. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, yeah, feel free to lurk. It's always appreciated. I appreciate the chatting. Um, I absolutely will be starting another fresh uh, playthrough. I'm this is definitely like the learning. Um, and uh, once once I feel a little bit more confident in the uh, the DLC, I'll probably be starting a new playthrough on the weekend. Um, but yeah, thank you for hanging out and uh, hopefully you can see you around another time and have fun with D&D. Um, right now, yeah, we'll just throw it in there. We'll just have the, the classic mono room of everything and then we'll work on that later. Poor little ghoul, He's just in there. Um, basic can be studied in one day. All right, we, we do have the pemmican. I mean, oh, I really don't want this food to go bad. Um, oh, this is, this is why things are not working. I missed a single conduit. I was wondering why my power was so unstable and this battery always seemed empty. That's because the battery wasn't connected because I am, as always, a silly goose. There we go. Now it's doing great. This thing's ripping and roaring right now. Void curiosity. Pykeet has begun to fixate on the void and wishes to investigate it using the void provocation ritual. Use the void provocation ritual to discover and capture entities. Captured entities can be studied to complete anomaly research projects or connected to a bioferrite bio harvester to generate bioferrite. Place a psychic ritual spot to perform a provocation ritual. I think, in addition, um, what we could do too, let's, let's do this. I like this idea. Um, let's start making some some cells. This will be we're going to build our containment in here. And I'm not sure exactly how this will work, but we have this little area here eventually that we'll we'll use. Um, but I like the idea of all the mountains. Oh, dromedary, dromedary shamblers. Are we paused? We're paused. A group of shambling, rotting dromedary corpses is approaching. Some inhuman force has reanimated these lifeless bodies and set them to murder. It'll wander through. Okay, so we've already... Uh, whoa. 
That is a straight up dry bones looking guy. Okay. Fascinating. Let's build granite wall here. Granite door there. Let's build a little wall right there. Oh, flash storm. Ooh, the deserter. A line infantier is calling from nearby. She has deserted the army of the Exodus Empire and is being hunted by a loyalty squad. She wishes to join you at Community Sound. Uh, they know the location of key outposts containing everything you need to develop psychic powers. A Psylink Neuroformer. Um, I, I kind of like this. I have seven days to do this. The food situation makes me want to wait a little bit. A friend needing help. Um, no, I, I don't want that. Um, okay. There's also these steel walls and all this stuff we can deconstruct. And there is also this... Uh, I think we need to get the, uh, friends. Okay, the dromedary. Uh, this is actually really handy. Zooming out and you can see immediately animals. Um, immediately you can see things that are going to be a threat. I'm going to get bear out here shooting these gazelles. Okay. Bear is clearly improving. Um That one is fine. Beautiful. Come on down. Um, I think we're going to put a uh, bear on hunting. And we have that being taken care of. Oh, it's a little chilly in the kitchen. I guess what we could do close this off what is this storage for oh this is a dumping stack pile well, let's just delete this um and then i think we'll close this off but have a door and then we'll throw a little uh vent in here and a vent in here we can like recycle the heat um, it's not the best, but it, it'll do something. Perfect. We have a little bit of meat going on here. We have, uh, okay. The food, food's decent for a while. We're going to build another containment area and then we're going to get this. Um, yeah, you're in prison. That's going to go away. Uh, then salt it will go away soon to your ratty apparel um, soon. Uh, we should perform a void provocation. Yes. Yes, we should. Agreed. Let's let's make your barracks slightly less crappy, though. Get it. Get it more beautiful. Um, let's build these perimeter walls for our compound. And then we can focus our efforts on defending, I guess, like from this way and from this way still, because this is a 
a big ol' problem. Um, yeah, we could eventually just wall this off completely. This is the only spot we really have to grow on the map. Deserts be barren sometimes. All right. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, let's knock that out real quick. And that'll be a nice big, um, actually let's maybe not knock that out. And instead, uh, we'll do this for now. Keep it roughly the same size. And we have this nice big containment area that we can use. Um, I also like the idea of yeah, we can build, I guess we just need a holding spot. What, what, what would that be? 73, that's actually not bad. I, I thought that would potentially be worse. Um, for this entity, containment strength, is that um, average wall HP averaged or HP? Okay, that's how it's calculated. Interesting. So if we just put like, here yeah that's pretty good too because it's, it's using the brick walls that's pretty easy yeah we need turrets on the the problem side um i think it would be much easier yeah to wall off right here and then uh oh this is a, this is a Ancient danger. So we want to definitely wall off eventually. Maybe we can just, let's just do it. Oh, we can't build there. That's fun. We also can't build up here, um, which is super duper fun. We can build. Here. Like that. Um, build a wall there. And then the, the killing fields will literally be the farm, which is fine. Um, and we can just put up our defenses down here. Um, have our little, little outpost that way. Um, potentially even actually like using uh using the the hospital as a bit of a cover unfortunately like we have this entrance by the geyser maybe we could even look at doing something oh that music is like super spooky um something like this and we'll we'll eventually build some cool doors down here now these doors do they require Anything fan like I keep on clicking on it. I'm like, where, where's like the info on it? Cause it's giving me info for granite wall. Um, furniture, structure, security door. Uh, it is slow to open and requires electricity. I see. Um, I, I will eventually research um, the electro harvester. I might actually uh, get that first. So then we could have like the facility of monsters powered by the monsters. I think that's that's kind of neat. The very like Matrix style, like the entities are the batteries that are fueling their prison, um, which is which is cool. Uh, yeah, power situation is doing much better with this battery because we, we really don't have many needs in terms of our power. Just a couple lights, um, one one cooler and one uh, heater, which is you know all you need. Um, Bear diligently working on our future containment facilities. I think for now uh, we're just going to knock a couple out like that. Uh, we'll put one more right here, one 
that's once that's done um actually bear can you just get that one done and build the second one thank you beautiful these ones are not as good i guess um i don't know why maybe there's just too much open space okay having some fun awful barracks they this barracks is just so awful i mean this the ground kind of sucks dark visions has become or okay he's become overwhelmed with horrible visions rambling about things that only he can see and will snap out of it in a few hours boy um void provocation um there's a chance that the invoker will fall into a coma for several hours the chanters um Okay. We'll we'll wait till everybody's up and running. What's this toggle beauty is T. Uh toggle visibility. Uh what is the yeah, we want this guy. Automatic rebuild. That's always the button that I, I forget. But it's a useful button. Okay, so this is gonna be closed. This is going to be closed. Racked has quite the job um, with really only one viable. I guess we could. I mean, you're not doing anything because you're wandering for a few hours. Um, sands, instead of a sandstone research bench, what if we made granite research? Uh, and the reason it's bottlenecked is because steel. Um, I really, okay, when you get up, you're going to prioritize getting that, getting that one. Uh, there is a bunch of steel just kicking around still, or there's one, oh, no, there, yeah, there's a bunch. I knew there was a bunch. Um, okay, nice. We have some defenses. Um, perfect. These are going up nicely. Nice. We have a couple of little spots there. Oh, ancient danger. Yeah, knew it, knew it. Beautiful. Okay, 66. Building any HPs. Okay, yeah, refugees are leaving. He's now moving on. Says he won't forget what you've done. Uh, that is fair. Um, I mean, we weren't particularly uh, useful. Oh, okay. Quest completed. Hooray. Um, we do have these dark visions. These, these dark visions have been lasting for more than a couple of hours. Uh, we do have this crappy bed that we can use as a prison. Okay, that's hot in here. Um, so temperature, unfortunately, it's going to be a little gross uh we do want to make an actual prison somewhere probably not i mean i guess in here with the battery is a good a spot as any for now um we do need a lot more steel we have anybody who mines yeah bear mines um oh nice we did get another harvest of rice in uh before i mean it's getting kind of botched but um, that'll be nice. We only have three mouths to feed now. And we did also have a few gazelles that we, we, hunt, we hunted. So we kind of mitigated some food problems. I think we're feeling pretty good there. Um, yeah, we'll make, make more defenses this way. I don't know how many raids we're going to get from this close to the base. Um, I am realizing though, that if, I build this wall. The I, I've 
I built my base such a way that the only way in, uh, well, I, my base will be completely walled in. So I'll get sappers all the time. So I do actually need to maybe deconstruct this or just like hold this door open. Um, could be an option. Uh, bear, you're going to take care of this gazelle. Oh boy, they have that that gazelle decided to go for a run. I mean you could attempt to hit hit the animal. We'll see. Eight hours. Neat. Chase it down. 15 hours. Neat. All right, we grabbed some, where, where, where are we going? Oh, cool. Why don't we actually just prioritize all the steel? There we go. Get it all. We have another danger here, and we have some really exciting things happening on on the map, as it were. Oh, so much stuff, so much to do. Um, beautiful vent there. So now, temperature in here is much more reasonable, and yeah, cold in there, warm in here. Um, this is going to be set for prisoners. It's going to be a real crappy little prison. Building that out. Hopefully that deters sappers and they will just come on through. I don't know if it will, though. I might even just construct it. Get some blocks back for this place here. And then this will be sort of our... They will come through this way and they'll be getting shot at from over here. Um, we will focus on just closing it up. Uh, this, what do we got? This is not another normal, normal statue. Um, our regular research, we do need to pick. Uh, we have electricity, batteries, solar panel. Yeah, now let's get some solar panels. That is looking pretty good. A lot of rice. Rice is nice. Um, oh, quests. Uh, available. The deserter. We could we we could do this. Um. We have to go to the outpost to get the psychic powers. Um, they are a infantier and a hussar. You know what? I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna straight up do it. Um. Yeah, look at that. They are psychically deaf. Chemical fascination, which is fine. They're they're a nudist. Mm, not not my favorite. Um, considering. Uh, but okay, you need to change that path right away. But in the meantime, you are intellectual. Okay, they're following you down. What kind of stuff do you have? You're kind yo, you're you're hilarious. Look at your gear. Oh nice. And it's not even biocoded. So I think we are at the point where we can look at building um or at, at least uh considering
can't build over that stuff. Um, we need to make, make rooms for our colonists to, to be in. Um, I'm trying to think where the best place for for those rooms is going to be. Um, I mean, we have yeah, we have lots of building to do. Uh, in terms of our brand new friend, um, I almost think like you two should not be cleaning, or the, like the lowest priority. Like you'll do it if I tell you to. Um, You're going to be our dark study or you're going to be our researcher. Um, you actually could be an okay crafter as well. Um, you are also going to be our primary hunter. Uh, we definitely need you. I mean, they sent like this 14 year old child soldier. Um, it's kind of ridiculous. Uh, after like this genetically modified super soldier woman who has, you know, an assault rifle, high quality. We're just going to bring our two combatants. I thought, uh, let's zoom all the way. Okay, he's coming around the corner here. Take this, oh my gosh. That was, that was mean. Um, in terms of our friendos, um, Bear is the, our like only shooter, right? Because we have, I, to be fair, Racked is so bad at melee that we might as well um, upgrade the shooting. Whereas um, Pykeet could could actually benefit from. A little bit of uh, stuff going on now. Um, that headshot, real bad. We have a, we do have a death acidifier. Um, yeah, hey, Buzz, would you would you like to join? We have um, these two colonists have been named already, uh, but we have a couple of colonists that are like the default names. Um, if you would like to join the colony. All right. If you have no preference, I'm going to name this this one buzzed because the other name was awkward to say. I guess they were both kind of awkward to say. But we are currently um, playing the Anomaly expansion. It's got like some uh, real Lovecraftian Cthulhu vibes. And we have like this chained up monster and we're building our like SCP containment facility. And we're absolutely going to sacrifice people um, where we've allied against the Empire. We're going to make our own psychic soldiers. And we're absolutely going to use um, the Empire's troops through hilarious dark rituals like the Psychophagy ritual to make the ultimate dark magic super soldiers um, by lobotomizing the Empire. Um, and that's the plan. So I'm very excited for that. I suppose we also need to... I mean, one of these beds for now can just be a... Uh, non-medical bed and our new friend can go to sleep in a real bed there you go um the other thing we can actually do is strip this soldier um and we have all this uh wonderful stuff now and bear actually gets to wear the all the all the cool stuff um Okay, it's getting cold now. It's not great. Um, we'll just haul all this stuff. Oh, there's no place to start. Um, orders. Harvest. 
all of this bear get out there before it all dies um this is the one concern we have is is food it's gonna be rough uh who has muscle parasites oh good bear does um and the prisoner has muscle parasites they cause pain um but they also uh yes weakness and lack of coordination not i deal um i'm gonna get all this chopped up uh, we do need to tend this fortunately serious pain is something that our particular ideology really enjoys so it's going to be not really much of a penalty for me um I do need a few, a little bit more storage area. Uh, I have all these like terrible garbage weapons too that I can get rid of. I just need to make a proper workshop. Yeah, the muscle parasites are not well timed. Um, I do think we have enough people though, and I'm sort of willing to. He's not psychically sensitive. He cannot help. Um. Buzz, we're going to get you to uh, summon some sort of hell beast. So we're, we're going to provoke, poke the void, call out to these spooky demons and see what happens. Okay. Um... Buzz has finished performing the Void Provocation Ritual, sending out a psychic pulse that will attract entities. Prepare for what comes next. In the process, Buzz glimpsed something horrifying beyond human understanding. The psychic darkness shopped him into a short-term coma. So, you, you've glimpsed the unglimpsable. Um, cleric rolls activated. The number of screamers in your colony has reached three. You can now assign the role of cleric to one of your colonists. To assign a role, use the person's social tab. Uh, we need a ritual spot. Um, we don't really have a ritual here. We don't have like our our temple yet. Um, I mean, this is a psychic ritual spot, but we need a... There we go. We can put that in there. Um, sacrifice of painism. Uh, we could add a cleric. Um, you can't do it. Um, yeah, sure. I think who's, who's our best social worker? I think it is racked, um, which, so yeah, begin role change. Well, we want racked. Racked is going to be our cleric, which, um, is not like a cleric. It's, it's just the name of our ideologians, like spiritual leader perfect oh a group of monstrous human-like abominations are attacking their bodies are ravaged by thick keratin spines which they can launch at a distance however their fleshy forms do can do little damage at close range oh so we're supposed to oh my gosh a gore hulk what the heck is this thing um okay uh, it's, it's made of human leather. That's gross. Um, melee DPS is not good. So you're supposed to like engage this thing in melee. Okay. So I need to engage this thing in melee. Uh, Buzz is you are one of our um, more effective. Okay, you can put this club on. New research is available. Bliss lobotomy. What is happening? So, oh, okay, so you can like, I can make someone incapable of intellectual and skilled labor. But they'll be happy all the time. Wonderful. Uh, yeah, Bear, you should be sleeping. Yeah, that'll that'll make you feel better. Um, racked. 
and Buzz. Um, this Gore Hulk thing is coming for a party. We're just going to ambush it on the other side of the door here. Okay. Wait for it. Wait for it now. Okay. It hurt me. I don't like that. Shoot it. Okay. How are you doing, Buzz? Oh, you're actually not that gore hug. It's okay. It just has like a fleshy club. It just, it looks really scary. Um, wonderful. It's actually not dead. Uh, oh, we can capture it. I forgot. Um, I don't know. Okay. We only have 66 containment strength. Minimum containment strength is 60. Okay, we have we have the required. We, we're making our very own menagerie of monsters. Super exciting. Um, we do need I well I we don't need to, but I would feel more comfortable uh if we had that door done. Getting the, the extra door. We don't have enough granite block. Okay, prioritize constructing. This door. Yeah, major break risks. Um, our, our colonists are all a little sad. Um, they all have needs. They're all very needy. Um, yeah, mostly like hungry and stuff, I think, or sleepy. Um, they're also kind of grumpy because like their barracks sucks. Like I need to make them individual bedrooms. Um, yeah, I mean, partly why it sucks is because there's workstations in it. Um, that always makes them real grumpy. So one thing I could do is build a proper, um, work area. So maybe we will do that. And then we can move these up there and then this, or we could even move the, uh, let's see how many bedrooms do we need? Um, I mean, this could be a couple of bedrooms. Um, I think three by three is a little cramped. Um, bedrooms, bedrooms, bedrooms. Don't love this idea, but we could also do something like make bedrooms in the mountain. That could work. Um, we also could make bedrooms down here. Uh, maybe even like four by four, one, two, so like. And actually get rid of these guys for now. Could actually do like long three three wide bedrooms. Hmm. There's there's a few ways to organize this. That might be kind of a nicer way to do it for now make it more like even and uniform because we are kind of going for like uh, a very like not even leave a gap 
I might actually completely change everything. We are kind of going for that, like, kind of militaristic aesthetic. We don't necessarily want it to be, like, too fancy. Because the whole, the whole theme is these researchers are obsessed with the obelisk and, like, their research. They're not super worried about the comforts. That's what our ideology dictates, anyways. Um, we do need a lot of granite. Fortunately, we have a lot of granite available. A little bit of slate on the way. Um, there's all granite over here. Let's just get that going. Um, let's cancel that for now. We are slow at research. Very, very slow at research. I wonder if getting another door here is going to increase. Nope. Definitely not. This one's 104. That one's pretty solid. Okay, so this prisoner. Um, sacrifice. A ritualistic prisoner sacrifice. Um, we don't have an altar or anything. Um, we could, I mean, this gets rid of the prisoner, which is like food. Um... Yeah, it's not a it's not the best chance, but I'm willing to take that risk. Because we really can't afford to be feeding extra people for too much longer. For a few weeks of food, but There we go. Um, hopefully a lot of these minor break risks go away relatively quickly. Oh no. I mean, I guess like the blight doesn't really matter because we're out of our growing season anyway. Um, one thing that's very nice though, is we now have, uh, this guy who really sucks less at hunting. Um... means we can easily get lots of meat. Another couple days of food right there. Beautiful. And in terms of cooking, uh, zero, wow, four, okay. We still are a ways off from fine meals. Um, what if we clean the barracks? Just say, get in there and make it nice. Um, the barracks is awful. Uh, that's a barracks. Okay, so it's ugly. Oh, it, right, it's the floor. The floor of the barracks really, really sucks. Um, hmm. And concrete also kind of sucks. Hmm. That's a lot of tile. It's a big room to tile. Straw matting. <laughs> Unfortunately, I do not. Oh, no. I mean, this. Yeah. Uh, cut all blades. Prioritize cutting.
Bear, we could probably get you studying. Now we're going to get you to study this guy, too. So we actually are getting more, uh, what's the quest? Friend needing help? Yeah, no, we don't, we don't know. We're not doing that. Um, okay. Yeah. We're getting a pretty, pretty good rate on our studying. Uh, what's the rate on this one? Yeah, not as much. So this guy's worth a little bit more, which is cool. Um, we still can't really make anything else yet, but we are getting the research done. Perfect. That was a good chunk. No drawing animals we wanted to get as a source of food. Just so many little, little things we want to unlock. Getting the art done. We still have like this body in here. Um, I guess really the only person that can eat the meat would be, we have a psychopath that could eat human meat without any penalty. Um, looking at the time though, I it might be time for me to start wrapping things up. Uh, we've come pretty far. We. Um, we have a raid. Boy. Just one. That should be easy. If anything, that might just be additional uh, fuel for the fire. Um, and by fuel for the fire, I mean like another person we can uh, easily throw into our pit of despair and sacrifice for the joy and, and wellness of all, all our people. Um, you have a chemical hunger. Oh, you're just you want to try them. Okay, you're not like biologically. Um, you freely ingest milk. You have a genetic dependency on gojis. Shubadoo. Sh That's not. Uh, yeah. Um, after 30. Okay. Yeah. So we actually do need to make you drugs. Um, because you are genetically dependent on drugs. Uh, which means you need hydroponics sooner than later. We need go juice production. Yep. Uh, this can be a, a challenge. Real, real challenge. Okay, good job mining. Um, let's actually not do that. And uh, let's actually get Bear and Friend out this way. Okay, you're supposed to battle me. Okay. Coming on down this way. We'll just meet him down here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. You actually got brutalized. I guess it was a Neanderthal. They're pretty strong, but his melee sucked. Um, you did light him up. Uh, yes, quest has expired. We have no available quests to grab. Um, well, yeah, we're stable. We need we need to get some go juice going so we can keep our uh, most deadly combatants active. Um, they're going to be getting some deficiencies shortly, um, which I think we need, need psychite. Unfortunately, 60 days until they die means we that's like a year so we will we will hit um we'll, like winter will be rough but then we'll hit like spring and we can start growing the stuff we need um and then we could you know at least make something um but 
our research sucks, so the drug production might be rough. Hopefully, like, Psychite Tea or something could at least, like, um, soothe the the dependency. Um, but it does say Goju specifically. It's not It's not the same. Uh, like, we might have to hope, hope that, like, some sort of combat supplier comes by um, with with the goods, as it were, um, to support us. Either way, I think we're going to end the stream here today. Thank you, all of those that are watching and that tuned in. Um, and thank you to all of you that are watching the VOD on the YouTubes. Um, we will probably be starting a for real series uh, on the YouTubes as, as per usual with the new expansion. This was definitely like a see how things go. I might continue this on the stream at a later date. Um, and as such, we shall call this stream 1-1. One -one. Um, and with that, I will call it a night and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.